Welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk Today. I'm your host, and today we're diving into something that might seem a bit niche, but I promise it'll be an eye-opener for anyone interested in programming and technology. It's the world of TypeScript, specifically a hot new repository called TypeScript Go. Now, you might be asking, what's the big deal here? Well, as developers increasingly look for more efficient ways to work with JavaScript, projects like this one are on the forefront of bridging different programming paradigms. And let's be real, a lot of us are looking for ways to make our code cleaner and more efficient, right? To kick things off, let's paint a picture here. Imagine a bridge between two islands. One island represents the world of JavaScript, and the other represents the powerful, typed nature of Go. That bridge? That's what TypeScript Go aims to create. Pretty cool concept, huh? So, what's under the hood? Well, this repo is currently under active development. There aren't any published artifacts just yet, but developers can clone and run it locally to get a sneak peek at features as they're being rolled out. It's like getting early access to a beta version of your favorite game. Exciting, but with a bit of that still-in-progress feeling. Now, how do you get started with this repository? First things first, you'll need a couple of tools, specifically Go version 1.24 or higher, and Node.js with NPM. Good news, if you're familiar with Git, pulling this repo is a breeze. Just make sure to clone it with submodules. Otherwise, you're missing out on some important components. It's like trying to assemble a puzzle with missing pieces. Frustrating, right? Okay, so after you've got it cloned, Running tasks is similar to what you'd find in the TypeScript repo. You have commands that let you build, test, install tools, and even lint your code, all with the magic words like hereby and generate. And isn't that just a fun word to say? But let's talk about what's functional so far. What's really exciting is that some core functionalities are already complete. We're seeing features like program creation and parsing happening as intended. If you're a developer, you'll appreciate that you can read inputs and outputs similarly to how you would in TypeScript 5.8. But there are still areas that are very much a work in progress. Things like JSX handling and API readiness are still on the drawing board. Now you might be wondering, how does this even impact me? Here's the thing. If you're someone who loves the flexibility of JavaScript but craves the reliability that comes with typed languages, this could be a game changer. Alongside TypeScript's capabilities, you'll be gearing up for the future of development where strong typing and rich tooling become more widespread. As we wrap up, remember this is a community-driven project. If you have ideas or want to contribute, they welcome that. It's an open source adventure, and like all good adventures, it thrives on collaboration and creativity. Before I sign off, let's ponder this. What would you like to see in a fusion of TypeScript and Go? How could it change the way we write code today? Think about it and let us know your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to subscribe and join us next time for more insights into emerging tech trends that are shaping our world. Until then, keep coding and stay curious.